Hello everyone, it's Joanna, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on the link and if you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Um, let's talk about 2021 skincare, hair care, wellness favourites. Um, and I am going to talk about all the products that I loved in 2021, recommendations. I have monthly favourites. If you're interested, you can go through 2021 monthly favourites. Um, just a little bit about me, if you're new here. I am 46. I have sensitive skin, a little bit of rosacea, so I like moisturising products and things like that. I didn't focus a lot on all the skincare products I use because... Everyone has different products, so I looked at things a little bit more, something that would suit everyone. So that's what the skincare is going to be about. There is a lot about cleansers and stuff like that. So let's get into this. Let's talk about my skincare favourites, which I put in this box. There are some tools here as well. So I am going to start with cleansers and I can see there'll probably be a few buried so I'll talk about them later so let's begin one of the cleansers the milk cleanser that I loved and I repurchased a couple of times I think this is getting discontinued though so I'm so sad couldn't find it anywhere so it is the Nivea Rose Care Micellar 2-in-1 Cleanser and Toner it's got it just feels so nice and soft I use this as a first cleanser or at night when I haven't worn any makeup just to clean my face before I move on to my skincare I really really love this it smells powdery it's so nice on the skin so really like using that now another cleanser that I really liked using and I repurchased a couple of times is the super facialist vitamin c brightening oil this here it smells like orange it's got a citrusy scent it doesn't smell like roses usually her super her products smell like roses i think well that's my impression and this one is i think it's better than the simple it lasts longer it's 200 hang on is it 200 ml and I use this when I'm cleaning my face just to break up my makeup. I don't know if it brightens. It doesn't sting or anything like that. Sometimes vitamin C products can sting, but this doesn't sting. Strongly recommend if you haven't tried it and you're using the Simple Oil Cleanser, give this a try. This lasts way, way longer. Um, and then another product that is kind of... Um, not related to cleansers so those are the two cleansers I think I have here whenever I clean my face then I move on to my expensive water as I call it it's the Elemis Superfood Kefir Tea Mist so this is a spray I cleanse my face and then I just spray this this smells like spa treatment it smells so nice it lasts quite a long time it's supposed to have elements that are great for the skin and nourishing and hydrating and all that the mist is very fine and it does feel like you're in a spa so if you want to buy yourself something lush go for it really nice really enjoyed it and I repurchased that um, let's move on to a tool so this is not necessary but I do use it so I thought I'd mention it it's those little and it has a hair in it it's a little makeup fan when do I use these well, it's not a makeup fan, it's a fan, but I use it for my makeup. It's a handheld fan. It does have a lot of strength. Look how fast it goes. And I use it when I've put on my skincare and I don't have enough time to wait for it to dry. So I use this and dry. Or when I've put on my makeup and I don't have a lot of time for it to dry, just to be faster. So I use this. So I had to mention this. And since I'm talking about tools, let's talk about another tool. A lip exfoliator these little thingies I use them when I'm doing my lip care I'll show you another lip product after this so I'll show you a few lip products actually so I exfoliate with this I go to all over the lips and then just rub this and it just helps uh, get rid of dead skin so if you haven't tried one of these you definitely should because it's a favorite now um, and I use the elf lip exfoliating lipstick oil and this 
I sometimes use before I go to bed or something like that. And then I put on my skincare. You just rub it on your lips and it gets rid of dead skin and all that. So if you haven't, but it has an oil, so it doesn't leave your skin feeling stripped. So that's why I like this. Strongly recommend, definitely try this out if you haven't and you're looking for a exfoliator, e.l.f really good um since i'm talking about lips let's continue with lip product um i have tried from anlico the collagen lip masks these are so fun to use i use these throughout 2021 when i was doing pampering i use these with my partner's daughter and she enjoys it you just stick them on your lips they, they're supposed to have like collagen and plump they do plump your lips um are they the most comfortable thing to wear for 15 minutes? I wouldn't say so, but it does leave your skin, your lips feeling plumped. So I enjoy using these and they are really fun. So if you're trying to buy someone a gift and they have everything, maybe you should look into this brand. So yeah, recommend trying this. And this was a 2021 favorite. And another 2021 favorite, I have a weepy eye today. This eye just won't stop tear tearing up so another product that i really like from i think this is from fresh it is the rose lip balm it smells like yeah it's from fresh it smells like roses it's amazing and it's just a really nice product to have in your bag and when your lips are feeling dry to put this on and I have a few more. I have lots of lip products in my 2021 favourites. Um, I don't have it here, but the lip mask that I strongly recommend is Drugstore. It's O'Keefe's Sleep Repair Mask. I love using it. Whenever I put it on my lips, I'll put a picture of it. Whenever I put it on my lips, it feels really nourishing and hydrating. So if you haven't tried it, try it and i also use a lip oil on other days i don't use them together and i have the Esther Lauder lip oil like it used it through 2021 repurchased it because they always do a gift set so i repurchased it so that's why i'm mentioning it it does leave my skin feeling my lips feeling very plump since we're talking about plump skin let's talk about the skincare cream recommendation if you have dry skin dry patches if your skin feels sensitive and you haven't tried clinic moisture surge i strongly recommend it i love this product i use it whenever i have dry patches and my skin isn't super sensitive if my skin is feeling super sensitive and it has dry patches the product that i used throughout 2021 and then bought a full size one was the um the first aid beauty ultra repair cream this one now this is what i use when my skin is feeling very very sensitive very very dry i put this on and it just helps you know get rid of the sensitivity and all the irritation so these two are my go-to products love using them oh this looks a little bit dodgy <laughs> love using them and yeah really really recommend if you haven't tried first aid beauty anything is a recommendation a mask that i used up in 2021 i'm going to repurchase i only have a little sample is the rose uh what is this called it's called the rose face mask it supposedly has real uh rose petals i really love using this in the summertime and here i'll show you what it looks like it smells of roses oops it smells of roses that's what it looks like it smells of roses it's great for the summertime you know those hot evenings when you're just going to go to bed and you want to put on a nice fresh mask this is amazing i loved it used it definitely going to repurchase one of my favorite products of 2021 since we are talking about skincare, let's move on to some uh, other skincare products that I want to mention. So, first of all, let's talk about the Ordinary R. So, this is called R Gear Line or something like that. Here it is. So, this is trademarked. This is the Ordinary and it's trademarked product. This is a peptide that is used and I use for 
um, lines and folds. It's supposed to help with lines, especially around the eyes and the forehead. I use this in my morning skincare routine and I put it here on my 11s and you can put it around your eyes. I have repurchased this. Um, I don't, I think it helps a little bit. It doesn't get rid of anything. Nothing gets rid of lines. It does help, I feel. I use, you're not supposed to use this with vitamin C. I use this with retinol products. It's a peptide, as I said. So if you're looking for something for lines, give this a shot. It's from The Ordinary. It's five pounds. It's not going to break the bank. Now, another product. Let me see, am I recording or not? Hang on, let me see. Yes, I am recording. Okay. <laughs> um... Another product that is great is from The Ordinary Niacinamide ingredient. Now, this is a vitamin B3, which is a vitamin that's really good for your skin. It's in kale and mushrooms and stuff like that. It's great for the skin. It, it helps hydrate. It helps with pigmentation. It helps with the texture so it's according it's supposed to be like a multitasker i love using this i repurchase this i use this with uh my hyaluronic acid to boost hydration and i use it with uh, retinol just to hydrate so really enjoy using that another product that i started using towards the end of the year but i love it so i need to mention it is the hyaluronic revitalift l'oreal uh, serum this one this is really cooling it smells amazing it's supposed to be plumping it does nourish my skin my skin falls feels like plump and young and all that so if you're looking for a hyaluronic acid and you haven't tried the l'oreal give this a try and l'oreal has skin suiticals so maybe some of the things from skin suiticals has come to this really really great product love it okay uh, since we're talking about skin, let's talk about more skin. Uh, here is my O'Keefe's uh, little lip balm, the repair balm. This is what it looks like. You can get it at Boots and it's just amazing. I've used this up twice. This is hitty up. This is my second, so I'm going to have to repurchase. Great product. Okay, more skincare. Masks. I love using masks. One of my favorite masks are from Dr. Jart, Korean Skincare Soothing Hydra Solution. Great for the skin when you're trying to pamper yourself, like you use this, you use this. I'll show you another product for my spa nights. Really enjoy using this. Very hydrating, just extra um, nourishing when your skin is a little bit irritated. What does this say? It says it's... Um, it's a sheet type facial mask that moisturizes and conditions condition, and conditions sensitive skin. So definitely try this out if you have sensitive skin. I repurchase those. I buy them all the time. They sell them at TK Maxx quite a bit, quite often, so quite frequently. So definitely check that out. And then continuing my spa themed 2021 evenings, I used lots of gel eye masks. I really enjoyed using them. What I'm using now is the collagen eye masks. I used up my Pathology uh, eye mask. I prefer those to this one, but I didn't have any, so I couldn't show you. So I'm just talking about the theme of gel eye masks. You just put them under your eyes. They have this shape. So you put them under your eyes like this, and they just leave your eye, you know, they get rid of um, bags and get rid of bags they make your skin look more plump and not you know uh, dehydrated rested and all that so gel eye masks pathology these are nice i tried these collagen eye masks from again anelco anelco i don't know what they're called if you have these are more affordable than pathology so if you want to try these give them a shot they're, they're, they're nice um then let's move on to a body lotion so i love rituals i bought the rituals of karma this summertime this smells amazing it's got what are the notes here it's got holly lotus and tea tree i found this at sephora greece 
I just loved it. But I was able to order the full product in um, the UK from the Rituals website. Beautiful scent. Great for the summer. This lasts on your skin when you have a shower and you apply it. Strongly recommend any product from Rituals. I just love them. Like the hand cream as well. Love the hand cream. Um... Another face mask that my friend bought me and I really liked using throughout uh, 2021 was the Pure Clay L'Oreal Glow Mask. Everybody was talking about this. I still love it. It smells amazing as well. This is the rose one and it does help brighten the skin so I just love using it. It can be a bit messy which is why I bought at the beginning of 2021 these face mask tools and you just go in like this and then you put it all over your skin it helps not make everything messy so that's one of the recommendations from me um we're almost done let's talk a little bit about uh hair care if you don't have a wet brush for 2021 i think oops sorry it has a few hairs on it it's i use it i love using this it doesn't um do anything to like it doesn't break my hair it's they're loose here so the bristles the bristles are loose so it doesn't hurt when you're brushing your hair and it's wet you can hang it in your shower like this i don't but i always brush my hair after a shower with this and i thought i should mention it because it was a favorite this is like i use it all the time another favorite of 2021 is the b and b thickening spray hairspray whenever i wash my hair i use this and then i just uh, spray it all over close to the roots and it does give volume if you're looking for volume check this out this is a great product it doesn't leave my hair greasy i use this in conjunction with the philip kingsley elasticizer which is a five-in-one treatment it soothes it makes my hair smoother it doesn't make my hair frizz and Everyone talks about the Elasticizer and the Philip Kingsley line. If you haven't checked them out, do so. Recommend trying this. And another product that I recommend trying for hair is the Charles Worthington. This has been a favourite many, many years. They've changed the packaging. So I have the Shine Plex. It does make your hair shine. It is like a little bit of an... It does help if you have like frizziness as well towards the end of your hair so I use it for the end of my hair as well so it's not you know it looks healthy and I just love using it it has a nice smell to it and yeah let's just put some here so so you can see how it does make the hair shine a bit so definitely definitely recommend this it doesn't leave my hair greasy so that's another thing I like about it but it does have a little bit of oil kind of some kind of oil in it so it will you will feel it on your hair um a product that was great for my nails is the oily oily nail trition this if you have very brittle very uh nails that break all the time definitely check this out this is a great product i repurchased this many many times i get my nails done now but when I don't get my nails done, I'm always using this just to help them stay strong. And finally, concluding the wellness. I don't know where the lid is, but I really enjoyed using and I have been repurchasing this over and over. The Deep Pillow Spray by This Works. Great product. It just prepares me for bed. I love using it. If you haven't tried it, it's a lavender scent. You spray it all over your pillows. Your mind thinks, oh, bedtime. And then it just helps you relax and go to bed. So definitely, definitely try this if you haven't. So these were my favorites, a little bit of everything. Let me know what you've tried, what your favorites were in the comment section below please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you've watched it until now please consider subscribing to my channel i'm trying to grow as you can see my subscriber count is is getting there but it would be great if you joined the fam so thanks so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye